Okay, so this is going to be episode two of what I'm uh, calling the Sportsmobile channel. So today I'm going to take you on a uh, tour of the interior of the Sportsmobile. 1996 Sportsmobile, it's kitted out pretty nice and we're going to go over all of the good stuff and some of the obvious bad stuff. So I'm looking forward to taking you uh, through the inside of Big Blue. Should be fun. All right, here we go. Okay, so here we are uh, starting the tour for the interior. I'm going to try to break this down into three parts. We'll do the cab and we'll do the main area and then we'll do the back area. So I'm sitting in the uh, sitting in the driver's seat in the front side of the front uh, half of the vehicle and the cab of the vehicle. And uh, we're going to take a look around. So we've got one, one or two lights that do come on, uh, but I'm sure you want to hear what she sounds like. So let's turn her over. There you go. So that's the 351 Windsor running. Not bad. She's been, that's a cold start and she's been sitting for a few days, so couldn't be more pleased. So as we move on and take a look at the seats, the seats are super comfortable, but the, uh, Upholstery is getting worn down, so I'm not sure if I'm going to go, you know, cover it with sheepskin maybe as a temporary fix and then work on getting them uh, rebuilt and reupholstered. There are some issues here, as you can see, with the arms. This arm's pretty good, but if you look at the one on the driver's side, it just kind of flops down, so definitely need some help there. Um, you know, I certainly could tear into it and figure out how to uh, get it rebuilt. I'm not sure about recovering it. I, I did do some upholstery on some of the old VWs that I had, so it's not impossible, um, but we'll have to check that out. And then up here, I don't know if you can see it, if we can get some focus, there's the uh, lucky turkey feather from the uh, farm. So that's been with me since Missouri and uh, keeping us moving down the road. Now these uh, chairs, back to the chairs, they swing around as captain's chairs. So I'll give you a demonstration of the captain's chair setting when we get to the middle section of the van. Okay, so as you can see, the uh, seats swivel around as captain chairs do, captain's chairs do. And we're in the middle part of the van. I have the uh, roof down right now. Uh, so I'm kind of squatting and moving around. I'm going to open up the roof for you guys. Um, but for now, I have it down. And then off of the captain's chairs and behind the driver's side you can see this couch that we have i'm going to back up and get a better view of the couch from here so from this angle i think you get a good view of the couch there's some storage under there which is really where uh the house batteries are and there's a bunch of electric uh inverters and things like that going on back there and then we've got this side door that opens and side door you get a little shelf and a little storage area you've got this storage area and another shelf and more storage down here so pretty nice setup as far as storage, just on the uh, a little bit in the middle here that you've gotten to see. Okay, so now I'm going to attempt to uh, demonstrate how the bed opens up. So you have this part that folds over, and then you've got the uh, legs that you lock in to place. And then this keeps coming down, so it goes from the back to the front, move the cushions down and voila, camping in style. So now for the rest of the middle section, you can see again, more nice plush padding, plenty of counter space over here uh, across from the couch and the bed. And then we've got this sliding storage unit here um, that's got shelves built in, which is really, really very nice and the uh, good Good to have on the road first aid kit. Now, before we do a tour of the back, uh, the galley section, I thought I'd show you how easy it is to uh, 
pop up the roof and uh, get the penthouse set up. So there's two big levers here. You pull those, and those disconnect uh, part of the penthouse. And there's one lever back here. So you disconnect that, slide it into this little pocket. The handles for lifting the penthouse are right here. And so push these up, or not, as in this case, and push them up. And now suddenly you have a whole lot more standing space in the middle of the van, which is absolutely phenomenal. Being able to stand up in the middle of a van and still have plenty of headroom is just amazing and super comfortable. On the other side of the camera, you can see we've got room for the penthouse and more folks to uh, sleep here. So you can have two people sleeping up top and two people sleeping down at the bottom. I'm going to lower that bed and show you how that looks. So that's a pretty easy maneuver. You just disconnect the uh, mattress. You lower it down onto these rails right here on the sides and then just slide it back. And you can see you've got plenty of room. Uh, and plenty of ventilation and, and a good view out of the van from up there. So really nice setup. Okay, so now we're looking at the back half of the uh, van. And this is the area that I refer to as the galley. And you can see back here we've got the uh, propane two burner stove. We've got the more storage and we've got the heater, the propane heater outlet down there. Uh, the storage is pretty good. As you can see, we got drawers and cabinets down here. Now it looks like there was a little bit of water damage down here at some point. I think maybe the water lines to the shower leaked or something like that. Um, there's also more storage in here. This is where your gray water goes. There's the generator for getting the generator started and on this side we've got the microwave and down here we've got a refrigerator it's a small fridge but uh should do the trick you know very nice clean that out get it running uh, otherwise maybe we'll substitute with a cooler chest if we have to but right now we don't have to two drawers this drawer down here has to be repaired. This drawer is working fine. This cabinet here, as you can see, is bungeed closed. Um, we've already looked into how to get the fixtures, the closing fixtures for that, so not a problem. Carbon monoxide detector, need to test that. Now the galley has one last feature out here in the back of the uh, van, which definitely needs to be hooked back up again. There is a uh, little you know shower dog bath kind of thing there help you get rinsed off if you're uh, really really grimy okay that's it for this episode of the uh, sportsmo build that's what we're gonna that's what we're gonna call this channel for now since we're gonna do one more tour and then we're gonna start fixing things up and uh, getting this build underway I think we'll do a tour of the engine bay and maybe take the doghouse off the back and and run the camera through there and i'll see if i can't get a crawler and we'll crawl underneath and take a look uh, at the underside of uh of big blue and see how things look down there all right and it's just as easy to take down as it is to She goes. Don't forget the latches and you're all done.
buttoned up and ready to hit the road.